How you doing, YouTube? This is Jamie Porter. I just want to talk about the news, basically. What's on the news is uh, propaganda. They're asking us to self-quarantine, even though it's not mandatory. They want to gauge what the public is thinking, and many Americans are ignoring that mandate. They're basically ignoring it because the coronavirus is not on the ground. People do not see it in their everyday life. Um, the coronavirus exists only on MSNBC, Fox News, and CNN. That's where it exists. Um, it's amazing. Celebrities, athletes, even people in Congress have the virus. These are wealthy people. And they're actually claiming that they have the COVID-19 virus. They also have their crisis actors who are talking just fine, warning people to stay indoors, to listen to the authorities. Uh, they're paid crisis actors, and they do not show any signs of COVID-19, even though they said they had it. COVID-19 It's amazing. I'm sorry. I just lost my train of thought because even Rad Paul tested positive for, for, for the virus, which is, it's, it's sad. I'm just watching the news now and this, I'm so, so disappointed that I even went to the RNC. Let's just take a listen. Let's see what they're saying. Curious. You need to make a decision as to which way you want to go. While public health officials warn it will take longer than 15 days to have an impact, multiple administration officials tell NBC News the president and his, his advisors are anxious to restart parts of the economy. You don't want to be sick in Spain tonight. Patients lying hallway floors in hospitals. A cautionary tale of how COVID-19 can quickly overwhelm even modern healthcare systems. The death toll here is now over 2,000. But hints of a brighter future in part in Italy. For the second day, the death toll is going down. Still around 600 today, but the situation remains dire. NBC's Matt Bradley is in Rome. It's been a devastating weekend here in Italy. The ambulances keep coming. The medics more protected here. In China. <laughs> it makes me laugh. I've been to probably, I'm going to say seven states. Uh, they're doing this on purpose. They're, if you go to your local Walmart, you know, on a daily basis, you will see that the shelves are being slowly emptied and it's artificially being done. They're, they're making the truck drivers stay on the road on standby and the trucks are full of supplies. But what they're doing is making the public see that nothing is being replenished in Walmart, because Walmart is one of the biggest corporations that is everywhere. So this is starting to concern people. Um, I've been going to the Walmart here for the last couple of days and slowly but surely people are starting to panic because the, and nothing's being replenished. And even these, even these so-called truck drivers. Not being able to find any 
anywhere. What's it been like out on the road? It has been absolutely unnerving, especially when you have to go and shop in the grocery stores and, you know, to supply your truck and you're around people. Um, there's a lot of people walking around like this is not happening, and that part is scary for me. So, but it's so it's not happening. by staying inside your truck as much as possible. It's so important for drivers. You know, air supposedly viruses can travel through the air, which I don't believe. On behalf of American truckers, slow down, people. Just get enough for a few days for your family. Another truck is coming. We're coming. The truckers are coming, people. She also tells me since she does not have protective gear, she's wearing a bandana to cover her face. 25-year-old Mason Spector is sheltering in his apartment in Los Angeles. He co-founded the label Mad Happy, born out of his own struggles with depression, anxiety, and addiction, which he's managed for years. We direct a statewide order for people to stay at home. But when California's governor announced... The I'm sorry. I will not stay at home. I will go... That's my day as usual. I was in New York a few weeks ago and I've been around Asians. Uh, I don't have COVID. I will never get COVID because it does not exist. You know, I try to tell my family, but they're trusting. They trust the propaganda. They trust the TV. COVID-19 exists only on television. I will never believe ever again the news. When I look at the news, I think the opposite of what they're telling me because Everything's inverted, so we who are awake must reverse what they say. It's 100% propaganda. They're consolidating the economy, and they're moving into this one world system already. The whole world's on lockdown. It's going to stay like that indefinitely most likely our freedoms the national parks they're closed down indefinitely why because they're preparing to sell the land over to whoever wants to buy it i'm concerned but I'm not concerned about a virus. I'm concerned of what the government is doing. We have to not consent. Even if there's military troops on the streets telling me to stay home, I will not consent. Even if I am shot and killed so be it but know that i live forever <laughs>